complete installation of Java with path setup. Java installation is basically a couple of steps. At first, we will download Java from Java website or Oracle website. Then after I finished downloading, then we have to install it. So to install it, we have to use that exe. So I'm typing that install uh, that exe which you download from Java website. After that, once the installation is finished, then we need to set up the Java path. So this is on uh, environment variable which we need to do it manually. And after the Java home path setup is completed, we need to change the path variable. So here also we need to define the path location of Java. And finally, once we completed these four steps, we need to verify the Java by using some Java command like Java dash Java space dash version, something like that. So we'll see all of those in this tutorial. Okay, so let's open any browser. So I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use any browser, it's fine. Then at first we need to search uh, the Java thing to download. So we can search in Google by typing the keyword JDK download. If we search this, then we'll see the official website of Java. Uh, that means the Oracle Java AC downloads. So we can go there and from here we can see all the Java editions. From here we need to choose so basically here are a couple of versions of java there is java ac 13 this is the latest version there is java ac 11 and there is java ac java 8 version so in this video we will see how to install this 8 version of java java 8 because most of the companies i mean most of the development firm or startup companies they use this version of Java. They are also using the old version of Java, but I'm not going to those versions. Uh, this is pretty standard because uh, it's complete and it's also bug free. And here they also mentioned Java AC 8 includes important bug fixes. Oracle strongly recommends that Java AC 8 users upgrade to this release. So uh, this is mostly used version. So from this website, we have to download. So to download, we need to go this link, Java download. So here we are seeing Oracle JDK and there is a link JDK download. We have to click here to download Java. But if we click there, it will not download. There are still some steps. Here you will find all the operating systems, uh, Java installer like Linux, then Mac, Solaris. In this video, I am showing you for the installation of Windows. For Windows, there are two options. One is x86 and other is 64 bit versions of Windows 10. My computer is 64 bit version, so definitely I will go there. But if you don't have 64 bit versions, I mean the other version 32 bit, uh, then you will use uh, these versions of JDK. If you don't know what is the uh, either your computer 64 bit or 32 bit. Uh, then you can check easily by typing here control panel so if we type control c o n t then you will see control panel so we have to go there once we are in the control panel then we have to go system so this is the system we need to click over there and once we are in system then we will see this line system type 64 bit operating system that means uh, this is a 64 bit versions of computer so if it is 64 bit then uh, you need to download that version otherwise you have to download the other version of uh, java so i'm going to minimize this skin because i don't need it anymore and in this i'm um, in the download page of jdk okay so i will choose this version x64 so we just need to click over there and then it will pop up this type of option like i reviewed and accept the oracle technology network license agreement for oracle java ac so we have to there is a checkbox we need to click here to complete the checkbox and uh, the button of download will be green and now we can only download but there is also another step i'll show you so for this time i'm clicking here download jdk 
and it will ask me to sign up the Oracle website. So here we need to put the username and password uh, for our Oracle account. Its account, this account is completely free. And if you don't have any account, you must have to create the account. So to create the account, you have to click here, create account. So if you click, click here, then it will uh, be in this page. So here you have to put the email address, password, this is thing you have to complete. And after complete, you have to click here create button and then Oracle will send you an email from where uh, you have to click to verify. Once you verified, then you will be in this space. Over there, you can put your username and password to log in. So I am putting my username and password over here so that I can log in. So, So once you finish the username and password field to enter, uh, you have to click on sign in button. Once you click sign in, and if the username and password is correct, then JDK will be downloaded shortly. So here you see uh, JDK it is already started downloading. And if we click on show all, you'll see the details. So here we see uh, the JDK it is going to download and it is 211 megabyte. And uh, that actual download time, it depends on the internet speed of your computer or network something like that okay so once the download is finished then you will see that it is completed uh, like this that download is completed okay it still it takes time probably it is verifying or is scanning some antivirus that's why it takes time so basically in this way we can easily download uh, the jdk so on download is finished then you will find show in folder this type of option okay so we actually completed the download of JDK. Now we can close this uh, window. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to close the entire window and from here I'm putting X mark because we completed download. Now let's go to the download location to install the JDK. So I'm going to my downloads folder where I generally download. I mean this is the default location of Windows 10 to download. Then we'll find this type of thing. Here we, is, we are seeing that JDK uh, the Java 8 version Windows X64 that means the 64 bit version of Windows uh, installer of Java is downloaded so we just need to run the application we can run two ways by double clicking or by right click and then open so I am going to right click and then open to start the installation once I click that uh, it will prompt me this type of thing do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes because we want to install java so i am choosing yes once i click yes then it will start installation of java it will take some time like few seconds to few minutes it depends on your computer speed and then you will see this type of window this widget will guide you through the installation process for the jdk 8 update 241 like uh, this is actually the description okay so we have to click on, on next button to start the installation once you click next button then you will see this type of option development tool source tool pure gre and this is the install location you can also change the location of java by clicking change and then from here you can choose the actual folder or some other folder where you want to install but i'm not going to change this because i prefer to download the uh, actual installation which is the default installation uh, one more thing i want to mention that here you see uh, there is a uh, words there is there are some words program files so the, in this part there is program files if the machine is 64 bit version java will be by default it will install here but if it is not 64 bit it will be installed in other program files which is x86 something written here let me show you so i'm going to my c drive and here we are seeing there are two versions of program files one is simple program files other is program files xh6 so this is for 64 bit version and this is for the other 32 bit version of windows so for our case it will be installed here but if your machine is not 64 bit then it will be installed over there okay so let's go to the installation and then click next to start the installation uh, it will take some time like uh, one minute to three four minutes uh, based on the computer performance uh, and once you finished on the java jdk is installed successfully then it will prompt 
that it is installed successfully and there will be on finish or close button something like that uh, let's just let's, uh, wait till it finished okay so by this time i i can go to this phase so previously we completed download now we are we are about to finish the install so i'm pressing x button because uh, we are almost done that it finished okay so click change to install destination folder okay we want to install that okay then we can, uh, in this location you want to install so we are going to click next button and then it will start installation of that folder okay uh, by this time uh, let me show you one thing uh, so we downloaded this thing and installation is in progress it will be finished very soon okay that's why i put close button that means these two steps are done then we will have another three steps we have to set up java home then after set up java home we have to set the path and then finally verify uh, the java home actually we need to set up uh, let me show you one thing when it is installed uh, the java home path is basically the same path where java is installed so here we saw that java is installed on the path java uh, pro under program files then java folder inside it okay so we are seeing that i think java is installed successfully completely yes java ac development kit 8 update successfully installed that means it is complete so we can close this window so the installation is done now we have to set up java home okay so java home is located in this folder in c program files java and there are two folders one is jdk and other is java jre so this is the java development kit jdk and the other is jre which is java runtime environment so to set up java home we have to go this path jdk and then we have to choose the inter uh, path and then we have to select and right click and copy this is the java home then we have to uh, set this path under environment variable okay so let me open the environment variable uh, so we can open the environment variable to us we can right click and then we can go properties and from there we can go advanced system, system settings okay and here we will see the environment variable so the other option i can show you so here you have to type environment envi uh, if you type like this four letters then it will come uh, edit the system environment variable you can click here and it will directly go to that location the environment variable so in this system properties you have to choose advanced and from there you will find environment variables we just need to click over there and it will open the environment variables panel so here we need to set java home so in this system variables there is no java path okay that means java is not there so we need to create one this will be a new path or new system variable so we need to choose new and from here we have to put the variable name our variable name is java home so we have to type java underscore home this one and you have to paste the value so this is the path right this is the path i showed you we have to copy right click copy so the whole path we found and then we have to paste right click and then paste okay so java home and this is the path of java and then we have to hit ok button so once we hit ok button we will see that java home will be there okay so now this is complete i'm pressing cross that means this is finished now uh, the path this is the fi final setup to complete java installation so for path we need to choose the path variable we'll find there is a path variable system variable here so we just need to add the path of java over there so we have to select this and after that we have to click on edit this time no new because path is there already previously java home was not there that's why i created new but path is already there so we have to choose edit and after clicking edit we have to add the path of java so but in this case we have to go the bin location previously we went uh, jdk location so under jdk folder there is another bin so we have to go there and we have to copy this enter path so i'm right i select the enter path and then right click and then i'm copying the enter path after copied 
uh, we have to come this edit environment variable this panel and here we have to add that part so i'm going to click new and here right click and paste so we are pasting it here and it is there then once we added that we have to click on ok button and here we want to close this button uh, this window by pressing the ok button and finally press again ok to close the system properties okay i clicked okay and then this window we don't need because we finished done and here we can mod update our steps that path is completed so all the four steps done now it's time to verify to verify whether java is installed properly or not i mean java is working properly or not we have to go to command prompt so we can search here by typing cmd if we type cmd then we'll find the common prompt so just click over there and also click over there you'll find this type of black window over here we have to type the command java then space then dash version so it will show us the java version if java is installed successfully then we will be able to see the java version so we are here we are seeing the java version 1.8 and something is there that is installed successfully okay that means java is installed successfully of that version and we can also verify whether the java compiler is installed successfully or not by typing the command java c then space dash version so if we type that and if we hit enter key then we'll see that java's compiler is also installed successfully so we can also update this thing uh, that also verify java so in this way actually uh, you can easily install java so basically these five steps are the full steps to install java is starting from download to verify and in this way you can easily install java in any windows machine all the windows machine i feel so far is the same thing it doesn't matter windows 10 or windows 9 or 8 or windows 7 it will be the same all this time we need to download then after download is finished we need to install then after that we have to set the java home then after that we have to set the path of java and finally we can use these two command uh, java space that version and java c space that version these two lines to verify whether java and java compiler is installed successfully or not hopefully uh, by following this tutorial I mean these guidelines you can easily install java on your computer and if you face any difficulties or any issues or any problem just put in the comment section i will try my best to give you the correct solution and thank you for watching hopefully you will like this video and uh, please if you like this video please share uh, the video with others and also subscribe